Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holdner. Thanks for joining me on another edition of Speed Secrets. This episode is brought to you by the LS Cam experts over at Brian Tooley Racing. Now we all know the LS engine family responds very well to cam timing. In fact, it's one of the most popular upgrades you can make. But did you also know that a supercharged LS requires dedicated cam timing? That's right. If you check out the website over at Brian Tooley Racing, those guys offer dedicated blower cams. But they're crazy. They offer both positive displacement and centrifugal blower cams. And while they both supply boost, they do so in a different manner and therefore require, you guessed it, different cam timing. To illustrate the importance of a blower cam, we set up a test. We wanted to compare a positive displacement blower cam from Brian Tooley Racing against the factory LS9 cam. To round out the test, we also included a normally aspirated LS3 cam. Would that be the hot setup? Hey, that's what we were here to find out. But before we could swap cams, we needed a test motor. The cam test is run on a 6.2 liter LS3 crate motor supplied by Gander Chevrolet. Before testing, the crate motor was upgraded with a dual valve spring package from Brian Tooley Racing, a set of 7.4 inch hardened push rods from Comp Cams, and a set of inch and 7 eighths long tube hooker headers. Topping the crate motor was a 2.8 liter twin screw supercharger from Kenny Bell. The intercooled system was capable of supporting over a thousand horsepower. In addition to the supercharger, Kenny Bell also supplied a 168 millimeter oval throttle body, a mammoth intake system, and 65 pound injectors. Dialing in the air fuel and timing for each combination was a complete Holly HP management system. The factory LS3 cam featured a 551-525 lift split a 204-211 degree duration split, and 117 degree lobe separation angle. The factory LS9 cam was slightly wilder with a 558-562 lift split, a 211-230 degree duration split, and 122.5 LSA. The powerful stage three positive displacement blower cam from Brian Tooley Racing featured a 617-595 lift split, a 231-248 degree duration split, and 120 degree lobe separation angle. Okay guys, the crate motor's been upgraded, the Kenny Bell supercharger's been installed, and the whole thing is up on the dyno and ready to go. You know what that means. Let's make some noise. Equipped with the LS3, our supercharged combination produced 712 horsepower and 617 foot-pounds of torque. That's some serious grunt. The combination of the LS3 cam and Kenny Bell supercharger produced a peak boost reading of 10.6 PSI. It'll be interesting to see what happens both to boost and power once we start swapping cams. Now that we've run the LS3, why are we standing around? Let's swap in that LS9. Okay, we finished the first of our supercharged cam swaps. The LS3's out and the LS9's in. Everything's back together and we're ready to run. Say it with me one more time. Let's make some noise. We finished testing the first of our dedicated blower cams. Equipped with the LS9, that supercharged LS3 produced 744 horsepower and 629 foot-pounds of torque. Boost was up as well, from 10.6 PSI with the LS3 cam to 10.9 PSI with the LS9 cam. Now that we're done with the factory stuff, it's time for the bad boy from Brian Tooley Racing.
Okay, we've got the third and final cam installed on our supercharged LS3. Supplied by Brian Tooley Racing, the Stage 3 cam was designed specifically for a positive displacement supercharged LS application. We've got the cam installed, we've got our belt on, and we're full of fuel. You know what? It's time to make some serious noise. Not surprisingly, our third and final cam from Brian Tooley Racing produced the most power. Equipped with that stage three positive displacement supercharger cam, our LS3 test motor produced 775 horsepower and 643 foot-pounds of torque. In addition to the power gains, the cam swap also dropped the peak boost pressure down to just 9.5 PSI, lower both than the LS3 and LS9 cams. More power and less boost, that's what the right blower cam is all about. Here at Speed Secrets, there's nothing we love more than spending time on the dyno. Especially if it means we get to combine two of our favorite things, LS cam swaps and boost. Running the three cams on the Kenny Bell Supercharged LS3 clearly demonstrated the importance of a dedicated blower cam. The Stage 3 cam from Brian Tooley Racing not only produced more power, but did so at a lower boost level. Now I know what you're thinking, hey, why don't you just raise the boost up to the level of the factory cams? And that, my friends, is the secret behind the design of a good blower cam. It gives you that option. You can either run more power at a lower boost than the factory cam, or even more power at the same boost. That's all the time we have for today. I'm Richard Holder. Join me next time on Speed Secrets.